My name's Darren, I'm a volunteer at LifeShare. We're in an arts project called LifeShare's Art. It's a 16 to 25 year old people project. So if people just come in, and it's very, very busy usually, they can just engage with art that allows the service to be a bit more fluid and also allows them to just have a bit of respite from whatever they've got going on. Um, so the idea for the exhibition was born out of that, born out of this dedication to be creative and understand it as therapy and use it in that sense. So the whole exhibition is about how other services do the same and how we can all have a big conversation together. I'm a volunteer from the Pankhurst Women's Centre based near Manchester Royal Infirmary. It's run by Manchester Women's Aid um, and in there there's office space, there's the museum, we have a drop-in for women, we have women's groups and um, activities, we've got counselling for women and we've got a food bank. Women had not done any artwork before, a lot of the women hadn't worked with clay, so some artists came in and they did a four-week piece of work um, and that's the end result behind me. I'm the organiser of Manchester, which is an advocacy for ADHDs based in Manchester. It takes the form of support groups, one-to-one -one counselling, uh, interventions, or, or anything to do with ADHD will have a go at helping them out with. All the works on, on show here are representations of what ADHD has done to people. My uncle taught me from the age of three um, and since the age of three all I've thought about from waking up to going to sleep is putting what's in here down on paper. I've basically been homeless for five years on and off. Um, I've travelled all over the UK trying to find various places to live um, and I only found out about LifeShare at um, the beginning of last year um, and since I've been there my whole life is progressed. I've got a flat now and I'm moving Monday and everything and my life has progressed a lot since I became a client of LifeShare. My artwork is a mixture of different things. Uh, a three-headed skull, like pictures of Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, things what I've seen on TV as a kid and I still watch now. It just gives me something to do and takes my mind off of, like I'm on six for depression so it takes my mind off of wanting to hurt myself. I usually go, go to Life Share, I get my food from there and I started to talking to, to one of the staff members, Darren, who is really into artwork and, and things like that. So I thought, uh, why not? At, at, at least I'll be spending my time in a, in a productive way. I, I decided that, that I'd make a story and I took my inspiration from music, because music is a great part of my life, especially heavy metal. Having people looking at my artwork is alright. People get to see what I've been up to. <laughs> To actually, for someone to look at my artwork and actually be really interested in it, it fills my heart with joy. It really does.